A few days ago, I deactivated my Twitter account and I created an entry in my journal here in Obsidian, but I left it incomplete because I thought it would be nice to share the process with you. It, it, it's an example of what I usually do. But because this is my real account, there's all the blurring that I have to do here, but don't worry, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm doing. So the first thing we are doing here is going to the timeline and the journal container, and I'll show you the post. So this is the post, there's nothing uh, secret here, so I can show you the entire post, but here's a title, like I usually do, the reverse date, a title, here's another title, and this is automatic, okay? Now, what I usually do here is also add like a uh, type here. So this is journal. I usually don't add myself to the entries. I only do that when there's more people. So let's keep that blank. Twitter, and I'm gonna add here India. And you soon understand why I'm doing this. So let's show you what, let me show you what I have here. I have, uh, screen recording. I did this because I want to show you in a future video how to. I exported my contents from from Twitter, and I'm gonna. I want to show you how to import that to microblog. So that's why I recorded and I left it here. And this is one thing I really enjoy in in Obsidian. I can keep this files here. This video. I can take a look at the video, and I can also use this video in a project for a video for a YouTube video. Okay. I also print screen this final message here. But when I was doing all this, I remember that many years ago, when I was in India, I checked my account using one of those internet terminals. This was back in 2010. And I decided to post that picture here on Pixel Fed. I thought it would be nice to share this because it's so old. And I have here the information. I have, there's another picture, a uh, zoom in picture showing the upper uh, right corner here where it says that I had already published, posted uh, 1800 tweets and I had at that time 689 followers. So what I'm going to do here is copy this. Let's go back to that entry. I'm going to paste this here. And let's go to the picture that I also saved here in my photos. Let's go back and down, all the way down to 2010. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna add this, whoops, I'm gonna add this picture here. Here's the same picture. But remember that I use the maps plugin. So this locations here, because we have the as here, it means that I can add geolocations to anything in the body of the note and all that will be added to the map. So let's go back here because I have the, uh, the airport here, the New Delhi airport on Google Maps and I can grab the geolocation here. And as an additional tip, this numbers here are the coordinates. You can use it anywhere. Not that it's not only for that plugin, but remember, there's a common here, a common here. I think this last number here is the altitude, so you want to grab only the first two numbers. Okay, so let's go back there, and here I can do something like this: gel column, paste the location. And there it is, it's already in the map. And if we go to the map, I don't have a lot in India because there's not a lot with the geolocations from that time, but here it is. I already have another one here. Oh, that's the hotel. And this is the picture we just added. How cool is that? <laughs> so as you can see, my map is getting a lot of entries and I love this map. This is so cool. The final detail here is saving the Twitter backup. So let's organize this date here. Okay. Twitter, whoops, Twitter backup. Backup, okay. I'm gonna move this to my files. Let's go back 
to the entry and let's make some space here. Go to files and here it is, Twitter backup. We don't need this. Okay, Twitter, Twitter backup. So now I have everything here organized. I can find this using the tag. I can find this using the date. I can look for the file on my computer, but I have everything here from the backup uh, to the video that I'm going to use for the, the video clip that I'm going to use for a new YouTube video. I have this memory here and I even have this picture from when I went to India. How cool is that? Anyway, that's it for this one. But if you were a supporter, there is a B-side video I recorded a while ago talking about my decision to stop using Twitter. And if this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.